Integrating people with disabilities into Israeli life is a burning issue here, particularly in religious communities. Joining me to discuss this more are two leaders from the reform movement, Yuval Newman and Josh Aronson. Uh, thank you both uh, for joining me. Uh, this is such a kind of relevant issue today because there's such a debate going on in the world about how to integrate best kids with disabilities. And um, I want to ask you in particular, because I know that recently there was a whole month kind of dedicated to uh, kids with disabilities and integration. Tell me a little bit about what uh, the activities that your uh, reform movement was involved with. Yes, uh, thank you, Jordana. Um, yes, uh, Israel movement uh, uh, for for Judaism that has uh, about 50 congregations around and thousands of uh, people, members of the of the movement, uh, believes in uh, full integration of people uh, with uh, disabilities. Um, we a fundamental concept of uh, in Judaism is that every human being was uh, created in the image, image of God, B'Tselem Elohim. Uh, so we believe that any, everyone is equal and everyone has a right to be included uh, in the commun community. We arose uh, the awareness of, of our communities to welcome people, any kind of people with disability, kids and adults, to be part of uh, our community, to integrate and to contribute to the community just like everyone uh, else. Josh, uh, you are uh, part of that community of somebody who lives with a disability. Tell us a little bit about your personal story. So I have Asperger's syndrome. Uh, I actually grew up in an ultra-orthodox uh, home and I found the uh, reform movement who uh, welcomed me, took me basically into the welcoming arms and gave me the fact to believe that I'm wanted, that I, that I can live um, a religious lifestyle and not the overcoming lifestyle that um, other um, streams of Judaism offers. And I, as someone with Asperger's, I'm a success story. I worked hard and I'm a journalist for Mariv newspaper besides working in the communications department for Karen Aysad, United Israel Appeal. And of course, I'm also the disability coordinator for the reform movement, which to work and give back to change the fact that to integrate people in uh, all the communities, in all places, wherever they are, which is a very important fact, which is a vital issue in day-to-day -day life is important. Right, and just for our audiences to know, Mariv is one of the most uh, widely read newspapers here uh, in Israel, so yeah, that is quite uh, an accomplishment. One of the third, um, biggest newspapers in Israel, and the fact to write for it with no degree, and uh, growing up uh, in England, so I didn't speak Hebrew, so I managed to prove that it doesn't make a difference if you have uh, with a disability. It doesn't make a difference if you didn't speak a word of Hebrew before you came here. But you, you, if you push hard, you can get anywhere. Yuval, there is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a kind of debate about whether, you know, it seems the rest of the world is kind of moving towards integrating children with disabilities into regular schools instead of having them in separate schools. That's something that Israel is still lagging behind in. Um, are you confident that Israel will kind of get uh, on the program and start to really work towards integration? Uh, because that is not happening yet here. Uh, well, it maybe it's not, it's not happening in North. It, it does happen uh, in some places. I can tell you about our uh, school in uh, Haifa, Leo, the Leo Beck School, that does have a special program for uh, kids on the uh, autism spectrum that are part of the, of the school. They are uh, uh, part of the, of the, the classes over there, and. Uh, um, 
we, we work and we believe that uh, any, anyone, if you give them the chance, they can be part of, uh, of any uh, system. They shouldn't, you shouldn't take people uh, outside of the system and put them uh, in, outside and then to, to try to bring, in the, to bring them back. They need to be from the beginning, from the school, from kindergarten, as in part of, uh, of the community. Right, there's still a far way to go. Because, for example, in Jerusalem, in some schools, you're only allowed to have one or two spots reserved for children with disabilities, mm -hmm. which is uh, not meeting the, the needs of the community. Um, uh, Josh, this is also a part of the program at the Reform Movement is to give children a chance to have some of those benchmark religious experiences, even if they have disabilities, like a bar or a bat mitzvah, right. uh, which children have typically at 12 or, or 13. Um, tell us what the program, the Reform Movement, is doing to, to give that to those kids. So every, uh, every person has the right for a bar, a bat mitzvah. And whatever temple, synagogue they go to, we will be there to help them, to assist them, to have the bar mitzvah. In all of our synagogues, we welcome any sorts of disabilities, uh, and we will be working with them to gain that meaningful assistance, whether it's uh, their father stands at the sides and reads the blessings and the kid just stands out, whether the kid itself would read from the Torah according to its own capabilities. Uh, we also have a, pro a project in one of our schools in Modiin in Yusmap that um, it, there's a hostel near the school and the, the fifth form and the sixth form together make a bar and bat mitzvah for a student of that hostel. Uh, one of the classes goes with them to the kotel and they dance with them at the kotel, they pray with them at the kotel, and then the other class makes a party at the school for them. And the combination, the um, happiness, I mean, we've had even orthodox um, um, children doing bar uh, mitzvah by us because they don't, maybe they don't agree with uh, what we do and with, uh, with our uh, movement, but they want their kids to have a bar mitzvah. Uh, Yuval, I wanted to ask you as well if you are reaching out to the other streams of Judaism, the conservative movement, the orthodox movement, uh, and other communities here uh, to build bridges and expand some of your programming. Our uh, doors are open uh, all we, always, and uh, even if someone uh, is uh, orthodox, it doesn't uh, matter for us. We, will, uh, we, are, we work uh, by the reform movement uh, way, but uh, uh, they certainly can come and have a bar or bat mitzvah with us if they want uh, to do that, or any other activities. A lot of their activities are uh, with, with conservative uh, movement. Uh, somewhere we also can find the Orthodox families, as uh, Josh said, that will uh, join us, because sometimes there are things that are more important than the, the conflicts between Orthodox or Reform. The, to, be, uh, to be a human being, that is the important thing. We're going to leave it on that, that important note, being a human being. Thank you so much, Yuval and Josh, uh, leaders in the reform movement, doing important work in the uh, community for people who are suffering from disabilities.